What's up agents and welcome back to a Division Resurgence video. The beta has just gone live for early access. I've been lucky enough to get in on it. And I've just spent hours setting up my settings uh, so that I can play with mouse and keyboard and basically emulate Division 1 and 2 controls. Before we get started though, be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe. Come and check me out when I am live. I will have regional beta codes to give away no matter where you are in the world. So if you were not lucky enough to get into the US and the other regions beta and you live like me in the UK, I've got loads of codes to give away. So be sure to come and check me out when I am live on Twitch, Kick and here on YouTube. Hit follow on the channel so you get notified. With all that said though, join my community Discord. The link's in the description down below and let's get into this. Right, so... I have decided when I signed up for the beta, it says, do you want to do iOS or Android? I went with Android. And the reason I went with Android was because I wanted to use an Android emulator so that I could use it on PC. The game doesn't have a PC client at the moment. Uh, and I really just wanted to play it on PC, not only for ease of use, but I also wanted uh, the ease of uh, being able to create content for the game as well. So there's a couple of advantages of being able, of doing that. Uh, one, uh, it's cross save so no matter where you sign in with your Ubisoft ID as long as you've got the client on your device whether that be iOS or whether that be Android your save will just continue uh, and also if you want you can just jam a controller into a PC really really easy I'm sure you can with a you know with Bluetooth on iOS and Android uh, but you can just jam a controller and sit and play in full screen. I also get the advantages where I can do some graphical tweaks I set my device as a Samsung Galaxy Ultra 22 Plus or something, uh, which I think is a, a last year's device, so pretty up to date with blue stacks, so that I can pump the maximum quality of load as well. As you can see at the moment, the highest I could get was 45 FPS uh, with the medium quality settings. And we're going to go through all that as well. So in fact, we'll go through all that, all that first. So I'm just going to Alt Tab out of this very quickly uh, and go to this settings pane at the top, and I'm going to go into settings. Uh, I pumped my CPU allocation up to 4 cores, extreme 12 gig and high performance. I did put it on 240 FPS, hoping it would make a difference. It absolutely made no difference at all. High frame rate, and I put the dis display of the FPS, just so I can kind of see what the system is doing. But you really don't need to have that. Display, you can put whatever you want. Uh, pixel density, this tends to mess up my instance of blue stacks. Uh, so be sure to make a clone copy uh, if you know how to do that. Um, just so that if you do mess something up, you can go back to a working version. Uh, 320 just seemed to mess things up. Graphics, I just stuck with everything as normal. I did try these, but again, it seemed to mess things up. I did want to try DirectX, but it definitely wasn't worth trying that. Uh, and then if I scroll all the way down, uh, obviously I set my speakers as they, as they should be. So just make sure you set your speakers uh, to whatever they should be. Uh, and if you scroll down to phone here, I selected the Samsung Galaxy 22 Ultra. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best things in this list. Uh, I don't know much about Android, but it seems to be the newest when I Googled it. Uh, and that's let me pump the settings up just a little bit more in the game itself. Uh, so if we go into the game itself, this is where we start getting spicy uh, with our uh, our settings. So at the moment, you can see I'm, I'm using my mouse here to control this. I can zoom in and out, just left, right clicking. I don't have to press or hold or anything like that. I can press my pulse skill by using E uh, and, you know, all these other good, uh, sorry, by my in cover skill by using E and then W, I've got my pulse on. Uh, and if I, I don't, I've never done this mission here. I'm just going to go out and continue it. But if I go up to this, I can press space to go into cover, just like you would in the game itself. And it takes a few settings. So... Uh, there's some important in-game settings as well, so don't skip when I tell you any of this. And I'll I'll see if I can host the file that I created as well down below. So you can actually press this control button up here at the top. And all of a sudden you can see now, you can see I put G over grenade, V over health kit. You can see the right click symbol on the screen here. Uh, and all these kind of things, space, you know, one, two, all of a sudden all things appear. Now the controls, W, A, D, S and all that, they just work. There's nothing to worry about there. I had to turn the mouse sensitivity down at 100. It was super, super high. Uh, so I'll think about that as well. And then in the control editor, I can export the file. So what I'll do is I'll export the file. I'll link it in the description down below. So you can at least use mine as a base and then customize it however you want. 
Uh, to be able to use the mouse uh, as a normal mouse, you have to drag this option here onto the screen. It can be anywhere on the screen. Uh, and then when you click the... So if you hover over it, you get a little settings cog in the bottom left. Click the settings cog, scroll down and say here, click fire with left click and turn this on. Uh, when you turn that on, you have as well also then got to drag this little mouse icon here over the place where the fire button should be. Uh, so you can see here, I dragged it over here and you can see that's where the big fire cursor is. And if you click on settings and click on keyboard and mouse, uh, you can see that that's the same settings that we've just been over. To enable that, you have to press F1. So F1 will take you from, let's just close this, discard the changes. F1 will take you from this mode into like a touch mode with a cursor so that you can actually manually press things if you need to, which helps when you're in the settings and you're changing gear and things like that. F1 will go back to your normal settings. Let me just alt tab out of it again so I can get back to the settings mode, back into the control editor. Uh, and then you can see I've just kind of configured all the stuff that you would do. So if you go, when you go into this, it always defaults to gamepad. Click to mouse and keyboard. You can see space is my get in cover key. Uh, you can see here when I hover over this one here, my reload key is R. And I've just set it up to the same binds as what I would in Division. Uh, I've not come across anything that I've done wrong as of yet, but I guess we'll see. I've even set, you know, this key up here, which goes into your menu. Uh, that's the I key. Escape's actually used to get out of the game. So I set it to I, which takes you straight into your inventory. So you're kind of in your equipment settings. So it kind of shortcuts that as well. And you can kind of create shortcuts uh, for whatever you like and it just works really really well uh, that's going to be it for the quick tutorial for this bit now there is some things that you have to do some quality of life features here at the end and these are the ones that i said definitely definitely don't skip uh, so when you go into the game uh, when you're right clicking it will zoom in and just stay there and if you let go of the right click it would stay zoomed in uh, and that's pretty annoying you want to be able to zoom in and out just by letting go of your right click and things like that so if you go into your settings uh, and you go to the cog, I've got to remember where this is now. You go into weapon settings, uh, change this aim mode from tap to hold. Uh, and that will definitely then make that way, way easier. It'll react like it does in the division two. Uh, one other, couple of other things that you need to change here as well for marksman rifles. They have a very strange uh, behavior as well. Change all these to tap to fire rather than release to fire because you've just changed the way that you zoom in. This works way, way better now. It works just like a normal gun as well. Uh, and that's going to be pretty much it. I think that's everything that I uh, I changed. I cranked these up to as much as I possibly would let the game let me. Although it's got a thumbs up here, it won't let me change the frame rate to high. If you know that there's any settings in blue stacks where I can get these up to high, I would really appreciate you putting them in the comments down below for me and everybody to know. I'll pin the comments. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. I hope... Uh, when you guys get on resurgence in a couple of days that these settings do help and let everybody know that using mouse and keyboard is actually a thing just with a few little changes thank you very very much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe come and check me out later playing resurgence and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching agents goodbye